What is up, Pete? SWTV HD here, and I'd like to welcome you to another video. Now, this video is uh, pretty, you know, off from what I do usually. I do a lot of FIFA, do a lot of gaming videos and stuff. But every now and then, you guys should know if you stayed around for a while that I do little tutorials, a little video showing you some little cool things to kind of improve your experience in using a PC or using any sort of kind of tech uh, that you enjoy using. So, in this uh, episode of, well, <laughs> I wouldn't call it an episode, but in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to make like uh, icons and uh, choose your own images as icons for your desktop icons. I've said icons a lot, haven't I? <laughs> anyway, so let's say you wanted to make a new shortcut or a new folder. Uh, let's say in this case we go facebook.com. Uh, go next, label it Facebook, and uh, finish it. Now, it's got a Google Chrome sign or a uh, Internet Explorer sign depending on your default browser, but mine's Google Chrome, so it comes up Google Chrome. and. It doesn't look that, you know, pleasing. I mean, to most people, they just ignore it and go, okay, well, you know, it's just a Google Chrome sign. I can click on it and Facebook comes up. That's the point of it. But to some, you want it to look and, you know, just want it to look good and look right on the desktop. Uh, if you do want to look after your desktop and stuff, that's definitely something that you'd want to do. So you'd probably think, okay, I'll go to the properties and uh, change my icon and then, you know, choose. Oh, wait, there's nothing here. Oh, okay, I'll click on browse. Oh, okay, here's some that I've made earlier, but I don't want that. I want Facebook nothing comes up so the problem here is is that you don't actually have any images that are in a specific file or saved on a specific file like the ones that came up earlier uh, that actually allow you to use it as an icon on your desktop uh, now in this video I'm going to show you how to do that exactly and the best steps to take so first you need to get an image that you want to use uh, so in this case you want to go to facebook.com or not facebook.com just type Facebook uh, logo or Facebook as I did there and go to images okay here we are but one thing I didn't do which you should always do when you're searching this stuff is uh, PNG now what that does is it turn it kind of asks it okay I want a transparent background that's if you don't know what PNGs are so you can see here I've got a Facebook logo here is loading up on the bottom as you can see there we go it's loaded up and you want to save it now make sure you save it as a PNG image, which is just on PNG, type Facebook, save it, and there you go. Now you have saved that picture and downloaded that image. Now, what you need to do is you need to go to Photoshop, or if you don't have Photoshop, because I'm gonna try and make sure you don't use as much software uh, that is downloadable and use things you can just find. So go to pixlar.com forward slash editor. I'll put the link in the description below for you to click on. Now what this does is it is basically a Photoshop online for free, which is perfect for those who don't really want to download or anything or pay for Photoshop. Now uh, make a new image, uh, 800 by 800 and transparent. Make sure you click that because you want it as a PNG transparent image. Now here we go, simple as, now you need to open up the file that is your Facebook logo you downloaded by going to open image as layer here we go this is my facebook png open that up and here we go so it is here you can adjust the size sorry i did uh, control t there to free transform which is this but the commands don't really work if you're in google chrome but you can change the size uh, adjust it the way you want to learn this edi editor a bit more i did do a oh, i forgot that <laughs> i did do a uh, video on it so if you want to see that i uh, just go to my channel and find it and it will kind of give you tips on this program here that is Pixlr. so change it up do what you want with it uh, and when you're finished with it make sure again it is PNG and transparent uh, you can tell it's PNG and transparent by this like checkered background that is uh, white and gray and that's how you definitely know so make sure it's that and go ahead and save it now as you can see here it's a different type of save uh, format to most things when you kind of save uh, so go to format and just go to PNG and then uh, let's just say FB so save it as FB, PNG. Now you have adjusted it the way you want and made it in PNG. Now you didn't have to do that. You could have just, you know, uh, gone and done the image we downloaded. But this is to kind of show you how to kind of adjust it and make it in the way you want to and still save it as a PNG format. I believe you can do it in uh, paint, but I'm not too sure if it will come up as a transparent background. So here we are. We have our PNG image, but we still can't... Uh, let's say upload or change this image into what we picked. So what you need to do is transform that from a PNG into an iCov, which is basically a Windows icon file. Now to do this, you will need another software, uh, which I don't think is free online. It's called iCovFX. 
a completely free software to download. It will ask you to purchase it at the end, but you don't need to purchase it and there's no trial or anything like that. You can just close it after using it because we're only using it for one thing and that is to literally open the file. As you can see here, the FB, open that file up, click open as image and here we go. Here it is, nice and simple and you don't even need to make any alterations or changes, just click save as. Now, when you go to save as, you can see it's automatically making you save it as a PNG because you've opened it as a PNG. So what you need to do is you change that and go to .ico. Again, I did say this before, this is the uh, file to make it an icon on any sort of Windows desktop, as it says here, Windows icon. You can also use this to make Windows cursors or anything like that if you want to. Uh, so this, this program is quite handy and it's quite easy. So it shouldn't take up too much memory or anything like that when downloading it. It should be okay. So you do that, save it, and uh, let me double check that I saved it. Okay, so here it is. It is saved. So I can just click cancel there and close the program. Again, after installing it, it will ask you to register anything like that. Just click cancel. It doesn't really do anything. So that should all be fine. So now uh, you should be able to change the image. So right click, go to properties if you saw before, change icon, browse, and here we go. FB. Ico. Open that, click OK, click apply, and as you can see, here we are. We now have the Facebook icon, as you said now. So that is how you make your own desktop icon. Now, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If there's anything else you want me to show you, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if there's anything in this video uh, that you don't really understand and you want some questions answered, let me know in the comments down below as well. Be sure to click the like button if you did enjoy this. And I do hope this, uh, this was a helpful video. I love to show you guys how I do my stuff and also how to make something a bit more you, how to customize the, to, you know, to the maximum standard of, of what you can do to kind of make everything you own a bit more you. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching again. Subscribe for more and peace. Mm -hmm.